Some students call this problem detective challenge, and this is not accidental, because we have a minimal of initial conditions, only two sides and no angles at all, and we have to find a third side as a whole number. And if we had only one angle, we could initially write theorem of cosines and this question is solved, but unfortunately it's impossible here. But what formula of triangle we know, which does not contain angles, of course, is triangle inequality. It says that length of one triangle side is less than sum of length of two another sides. Let's name unknown side as x and write this inequality for each side of our triangle. For side x we have that x is less than sum of two other sides. 1 plus 3. For side 3 we have that 3 is less than sum of two other sides. 1 plus x. And for side 1 we have that 1 is less than 3 plus x. And we also know that x is bigger than 0, of course, because it's a length of a side. Here we have a system of 4 inequalities. And their decisions are very simple. Decision of first inequality x is less than 4. Second inequality has a decision x is bigger than 2. Third gives us x is bigger than minus 2. And the last one x is bigger than 0. Now let's draw a number line x and draw our decisions there. We have 4 points x is less than 4, x is bigger than 2, x bigger than minus 2 and x is bigger than 0. So, right now we see that common decision of 4 our inequalities is interval between 2 and 4. Or we can write then x lies between 2 and 4. And now let's remember that at the beginning of this problem we have to find whole number x. This is a triangle with all whole numbers. So, knowing that length is a whole number, we can finally write an answer. And x equals to 3. So, right now we see that these two lengths are equal. So, we understand that our triangle is equilateral with two equal sides. A very interesting problem that truly needs some detective skills, isn't it? I hope, guys, you really enjoyed this video and I want to see you in the next one.